He says he is not a thrill seeker. But you wouldn't catch him bungee jumping. But he has flown solo over India in turbulence so forceful he expected the plane to break apart. On Steve Fawcett's flight in the Virgin Global Flyer, trying to break his own record, it got so bad over India on one dark night that he strapped on his parachute and fully prepared to bail out. Well, he opted not to. And to him, you see, risk is carefully calculated and managed. He studies, analyzes, and investigates every aspect of the adventure. And the thrills? Well, they come with the territory. But he really thrives on surprising people by completing the impossible. And you know, the wallpaper of the world record certificates in his Chicago office proves it. Born in Jackson, Tennessee in 1944, Steve Fawcett was a precocious child. Even at three years old, he taught himself how to drive a car or rather how to stall it repeatedly down the street using the starter button. He joined the Boy Scouts at age 11 and worked his way up to the rank of Eagle Scout. Keying off the scouting advancement scheme, diversity, preparedness, and endurance became fundamental elements of Steve Fawcett's life of adventure. Although a pilot since his college years, Fawcett's first significant aviation endeavor was distance ballooning. He earned his balloon license in 1993 and made his first major flight in August of 1994 when he and co-pilot Tim Cole flew across the Atlantic from Canada to Germany. In 1995, Fawcett made the first solo balloon flight across the Pacific, starting in Seoul, Korea and landing in Saskatchewan, Canada setting an absolute world distance record of almost 5,500 miles. Between 1996 and 2001, Fawcett made five solo round the world attempts. Finally, in June 2002, Fawcett began his sixth attempt from north of Australia, flying the Bud Light Spirit of Freedom. 14 days and 19 hours later, he landed in Queensland, Australia successfully completing the first round-the-world solo balloon flight. A flight that took a decade to achieve. Out of all the records Fawcett has set, he believes the first solo round-the-world balloon flight is still the most important. Since that time, Fawcett has become one of 17 Zeppelin captains in the world. In October 2004, he set an absolute world speed record for airships of 71.5 miles an hour. After flying a Falcon 10 for years, he moved up to a Cessna Citation 10, in which he set transcontinental and round the world non-supersonic records. Although Fawcett had his mind on the last great aviation record, Bert Rutan, the famed aircraft designer, had not one, but two proposals. The first private spaceship and the solo around the world airplane. Fawcett was more interested in the solo airplane, the Global Flyer. After just 100 hours of test flights, Fawcett took off from Salina, Kansas, February 28, 2005. Halfway into the flight, he discovered one-sixth of the fuel was missing. Fawcett strategically made decisions at each point, whether he could make it to the next possible landing site. Riding one of the best jet stream days of the year, he continued on to Salina, landing safely on March 3rd. Fawcett had achieved the first solo non-stop round-the-world speed record, making the journey in 67 hours, one minute, and 10 seconds. Although the purpose of the Global Flyer was to make the first solo around-the-world non-stop flight, Fawcett contemplated a flight to establish an absolute non-stop distance record. Fawcett left NASA Kennedy Space Center on February 8, 2006, acutely aware that an ultimate flight would be stretching the limits of his aircraft. On February 11, crossing Shannon, Ireland, Fawcett broke the airplane non-stop global flight distance record of 24,986 miles, set by Dick Rutan and Jenna Yeager aboard Voyager in 1986. Most recently, Fawcett set a new world glider altitude record in Argentina, reaching a height of 50,727 feet in August of 2006. 
In total, Steve Fawcett has set 116 official world records in five different fields, sailboats, balloons, airplanes, gliders, and airships. He has circumnavigated the Earth ballooning, sailing, and flying. In the future, Fawcett hopes to raise the absolute land speed record to beyond 800 miles per hour by driving a jet-powered car on the Bonneville Salt Flats. Fawcett adds that no matter which sport he chooses, his goal has always been clear, to make major achievements, especially in aviation. For his determination and commitment to blazing new trails, especially in the air, Steve Fawcett has earned his place in the National Aviation Hall of Fame.